Hello guys, this is the Simon Expert channel. Today we are answering the question from Rudvik from India. So here's his question. A 4 kilo block extends the spring by 16 centimeters. Then the block is removed and we hang a body of half kilo on the same spring. We pull it downward slightly and release it. And we need to find the period of total oscillatory motion. Let's begin. We can find the period of oscillatory motion as t equals 2 pi times the square root of m over k, where m is the mass of the body on the spring and k is the stiffness of the spring. We know the mass, but we don't know the stiffness of the spring. Let's recall two fundamental laws of physics. First is the Hooke's law, f equals kx, and it shows how the spring uh, elongates or compresses under a certain force. And the second is the second law of Newton, f equals ma. It shows that the force depends on the mass and the acceleration. In our case, the force is applied downwards, so here we will use the free fall acceleration, so F equals mg. Now we combine them and we get kx equals mg. And here we will add index 0 because we will use the first mass we are given, 4 kilos. And from here we can get the stiffness. k equals m0g over x. And now let's put this formula into the period formula. We get 2 pi times the square root of m times x over m0g. Now let's put all the variables into this formula. So here is our formula, and this one gives us the following. 2 times 3.14 times the square root of m, which is half kilo, times the elongation of the spring, which is 16 centimeters, or 0 0.16 meters, over m0, which is 4 kilos, times free fall acceleration, 10. And this gives us uh, 0 0.28 seconds. Here is our period of total oscillatory motion. Thanks for watching.